Hello, my name is Sanya Stefanova and I'm coming from North Macedonia. I'm 32 years old and I'm working as an international relations officer at Gospel Music University of Shtip. Uh, I'm so happy to be part of this initiative uh, and I will use this uh, five minutes talk to introduce myself and to share my professional experience that I gained during uh, this year. I will start with an event uh, which actually turned on and changed my life. It happened in 2013 when for the first time, let's say, I had a chance to leave my country and to leave Balkans for something professionally related. I had a study period in Brussels uh, where I had a chance to work with professionals, to be guided by them, which is most importantly, and also to learn more about European strategy and back then uh, European education process and uh, re educational reforms was in our focus. So I was so happy that I was part of uh, that working group and that I can gain experience and also contribute uh, into it. Also the following year, I had a chance to travel a lot and I uh, participated in a lot of workshops and a lot of courses all around Europe. I met really extraordinary people, very ambitious uh, and uh, yeah, Together with them, let's say we discovered that when it comes to education and when it comes to professional development, there is no limit. Uh, when I end up this uh, program, I return back uh, in uh, Macedonia where I start working as a part at Gosadelchik University of Shtip. And then I was invited to lead the youth council in the municipality. And uh, lucky for me, I accepted this challenge because it was a pilot program and I had no experience in it. Uh, but uh, uh, this, uh, the next four years, I dedicated myself to work with youth. I was part of the decision-making process. I worked with the local governments, I worked with mayors. And uh, together with the whole body, the whole group, uh, we created opportunities for young people. We also designed different projects and we personally, this was a chance and more responsibility to share everything that I gained through my all educational experience in Europe to, to bring that in uh, my country and also to uh, help youngsters to achieve their professionals. This was for me, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the biggest challenge and uh, through this challenge, I discovered my new passion, which is, uh, working with youngsters, uh, um, uh, guiding them uh, and mentoring them. This is still what I'm working today. So I'm international relations officer at Boston University in Shtip, uh, which means that I'm working with international students. I'm sending students in Europe, but also bringing Europe in uh, my small town here. I also run uh, my NGO organization when I continually, uh, I constantly engage with young people and together with them, we try to uh, create a step forward in uh, our society. And also I'm a part of a Western Balkan Alumni Association. I become a part of this network two years ago when together with other young professionals, we are working on different challenges here in Balkans. And with the projects that we are creating, we are trying to make difference in uh, this society. In the end, I would like to say that, uh, yeah, I'm still working here. I'm still living in North Macedonia, but the idea of uh, going somewhere else or maybe starting something from the beginning, some other country, is an idea that's popping up in my mind occasionally, uh, which means that uh, maybe there is uh, a way how we can uh, find a better way how to uh, fulfill our potential. Uh, and also, I'm hoping for changes in my country, especially when it comes to quality of life and opportunities. Hence, uh, if all of us has uh, opportunity and uh, equal start to achieve their potentials or to change their dreams, I see no reason why to go somewhere else and do this. But uh, without these two essentials, I think it's almost impossible. And, uh, the last thing that I will say and I will recommend to all of youngsters who are living here in this region, just there to be different because this is all what today's society needs.